So we got a new install that she said the whole area down here was flooded. So because this is a steam boiler, it seems like we're gonna direct our attention to the storage tank instead. We got some water right there. Okay, so 2010. So it's not new. This is new. Yep. Looks like we got a bad TMP. I think I got that on the truck. All right, let's see. 150 PSI, 210, and 105,000 BTUs. Probably gonna have to bring a copper cutter and a compression fitting. There's no way I'm gonna get this off. That'd be cool if it was this one sticking out right here. 150. Oh, look at that! I love it when a plan comes together. Glad that's all it is. I got worried based on the text I got saying, new boiler install, basement flood. You know what, instead of cutting it up here, I'm probably just gonna cut it like over here somewhere. I think I took that off too soon. Flush out any of the uh, mega lock that got in there for a sec. Junk out of the way for now and fire it up and see what happens. Whew. Probably shut this off too. You know what I just realized? This is an extended TMP for like the side of a water heater that's got a lot of insulation, but not coming off now. Been going about five minutes and no leaks. Got it. That's one down. The next one we're going to is apparently the pressure trolls plugged up. All right, I'll let that charge a little bit while I go investigate. Bag or bucket? Bucket. We have pressure, we're off. There's our water level. Probably put a pigtail on here. So if I do this, and open. The fact that steam isn't blowing out means we don't have pressure on the system. Right there. So it means that this, either the brass or the cast iron is plugged up, which is probably the, the cast iron because it's telling the pressure troll that we have 
steam. I couldn't tell if that was a male. No, that shouldn't be a male pressure control, but there might be a little nipple in there. So it means I got to get a pigtail and I got to get a brass coupling and a, probably my sight glass brush. That'll do because there's also these like 90 degree angle ones I could put on too. Bring that just in case. Thread that on there. Great. Totally forgot the other thing I came to the truck for. Oh! Headlight. Couldn't find my sight glass brush for obvious reasons, so found something else. Now I'm just gonna let the pressure build up by itself, satisfy at the pressure troll, and then make sure when the pressure comes back down, the pressure troll re-engages and the burner turns back on without any interference from me. So the reason that we initially suspected the pressure troll is because the clock came in that it would run once and then go off for about you know half hour, 45 minutes because the pressure would build up and with all the mud, inside it would take time for the pressure inside this little area to drop down enough to kick our let our pressure troll kick back in this is the best part just sitting here waiting seems like i'm getting all the easy jobs today all right i'm not being completely honest with you i have to be out by three o'clock that's why i'm getting the easy jobs starting to build up pressure Kicking off pretty soon. Spoiler probably got to be skimmed. All right, just shut off. Now if it kicks back on, we're good to go. That worked out really nice. So it's 1037 right now. Not quite sure where I'm gonna go yet, but I think I've earned myself a guilty pleasure. the little things in life. All right, so now that we got all the wimpy residential steam boilers out of the way, we're gonna come take a look at a commercial steam boiler feed water pump that's leaking. Either gonna have to replace the pump or we're gonna take it back to the shop and rebuild it. Now that's more like it. that's leaking, all right? Now, worst comes to worst, we just swap out the condensate pump. Now, isn't that just way cooler than residential? Not really sure what I'm gonna need yet. So I'm gonna travel light. We don't get to play with these bad boys today. All right, I'm gonna do my best to keep this as intact as I can. Just shut off the power. This job made slightly more difficult by the fact that I left my 15 and one in the boiler room the other day. So if anyone finds it, 
it's yours. Just gonna check power. You never know. Yep, we're good. And the reason I say you never know is because it could be 240 and they only put a single pull switch, so one leg is always powered. Seen it before, just say. Okay, so that's disconnected. Now we gotta find out how to get these little bolts off. Oh, they're just underneath. Before I get too far invested in this, I'm gonna close the, the feed valve. Coming into the tank, I'm just gonna shut boilers off for now. After carefully thinking about it, and by carefully thinking about it, I mean calling my boss. We've decided we're just gonna disconnect the four bolts, connecting it to the tank and the union in front. Just take the whole thing back to the shop, see if we can rebuild it there. If we can't, at least we have a new pump there anyway, so I could come back, put the new one on, good as new. Yeah, good as new. speed this up a little bit because it's already 12.30 and I'm losing time. God, it's so heavy. One more thing before I go. Sorry. All right, I get a little paranoid that the boilers are gonna run while I'm gone, so I shut off as many switches as I can. Okay, that's all lined up. The so this is the side the electric should be on. Yeah. So far, so good. That wasn't too bad on time. My vacuum fell over. Here goes nothing. Let's see, this came in the seal kit. We need this gasket. Nice. Now to get this gasket off, I think if I do it gently with a tiny little screwdriver, I should be able to get it off in one piece. Ah, damn. Okay, everything is all set. The union's tight. We got the, uh, uh, the bleeder all set, or bolts on. Let's start filling. Closed. Just gonna go turn on everything that I turned off for right now, besides the boilers and the pump, so I don't forget. Now while this fills, I'm just gonna sit here and Hopefully it doesn't leak. I doubt it'll leak though. I mean, I had help from my boss putting everything together. If he's confident, I'm confident. I 
this valve too. Feet starting to slow down now. Let's go over here. And that boiler on. See the pilot lit? Wow! A lot different than a power flame burner. No leaks, moment of truth. Kicked on. All right, it's pumping. Well, that went well. Let's see what time we got. You know, I think I've got time for one more thing.